Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a review of the Canon 85mm f1.8 film lens. And I pose the question, is this the sharpest lens in all of 35mm film photography? So I know them's fighting words, and I'm sure that there's somebody in the comments who's going to be like, wait a second, this lens or that lens is much sharper than this one. Um, and yeah, that may be true. I don't actually know if this is the sharpest lens. I haven't tested everything. Um, but I will say that the 85mm f1.8 Canon FD lens is fantastically sharp. I have been really, really impressed with this lens. I keep wanting to take the lens cap off for some reason, because I just kind of like showing that off. Um, this is a beautiful lens. It takes really fantastic images, or I could say you can take fantastic images with this, because as we know, our gear doesn't take the pictures. It's us, our vision plus the gear that creates photographs. So, um, but that's an aside, whatever. Um, I've been really impressed with this lens. It's fantastically sharp. Um, you can get really precise focus with it, and it just is a really, really great lens. Um, I've only used this with my Canon FTB camera, and I've pretty much only shot um, color film with it. So I'm not going to go on and on and on about the build quality or the history of the lens. Um, I'll just talk a little bit about the specs. Its aperture goes from f1.8 to f22, so you can stop it down pretty far. And you can focus all the way up to just inside of three feet, and the focus goes to infinity then, obviously. Um, so I'm going to show some sample images that I've shot with this camera, or not with this camera, with this lens, and um, just to give you a sense of how sharp this really is. Now, when I started shooting with this lens, I was really blown away by how sharp I could get a photo out of 35mm film. Um, a lot of 35mm film photos come out with a little bit of grain to them, um, but I was able to take some images with this on Kodak Portrait 400 and Fuji 400H that just look incredible and you know rival digital in some ways so let's show you some sample images So that's all for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment below. I'm curious to know what lenses you think might be the sharpest lens in 35mm photography. Uh, just always interested in knowing uh, what are some great lens options out there. Now, in terms of price for this lens, I paid a little over $200, I think. Um, I bought it, I don't know, six or eight months ago, so I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Um, but I think a fair price to pay is somewhere between two and three hundred dollars for the lens, depending on the condition. Uh, maybe you can score a better bargain, but it's a fantastic portrait lens. Yeah. If you have a Canon camera that has an FD lens mount, this is a tremendous option if you're interested in shooting portraits on 35 millimeter film. And also, if you have a digital camera with an adapter, uh, you can also take some great images with this as well. I'm really hoping to get an adapter for my Sony camera at some point because I want to test this lens on digital and see how well it holds up uh, with a higher resolution. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and as always, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And we'll have another video coming out next week. Um, don't know what I'm going to be doing it on yet, but it'll be a surprise. So thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Dan Bowen Photography.